the winter, the elements, the deep snow, and no sign of civilization or tracks in my path. I've always wanted to venture into the wild, and having a track jeep to do this fully equipped is essential for what I want to do. Cat made mac and cheese. Hey folks, I'm at Cabela's to start off my journey. We're picking up a couple of things and my lady is pretty excited today because we are headed out on an adventure with the tracks for the first time. For her, first time. Should be interesting. So are you excited? Super excited. See? Look at the excitement in her face. <laughs> because we're going to get to camp late, I'm going to stop in one of these places I haven't eaten for probably decades because this is from Newfoundland, this place. It's called Mary Brown's. If you guys haven't tried it, you got to try the Big Mary and some taters. This is super cool. Zero tracks in front of me. And we are gonna have some fun tomorrow. Pretty good though. Let's get be awesome. our tent set up so we can get warm. Yes, we need to do that. It's currently minus 15 degrees Celsius right now. It doesn't feel too bad though. Yeah, because we're in a Jeep for you know for the last while. It's crystal clear in the oh, sky so nice. though. But we're expecting uh, some more snow can see I'm pointing the camera to the sky but I don't think you can see it that well no anyway time to set up a camp so so this is very on just cheaping adventures totally um, is. I'm not gonna throw you under the bus but I am we forgot our propane what the so hell we're dealing with small half canisters of the little one pounders that we found thank yeah. god yeah so i'm like man i forgot my propane darn it <laughs> so anyway dinner is on hold tonight because it's 10 something at night so we just cook some garlic bread in a foil pan to save uh the propane and mr noodles minus 15 degrees celsius <laughs> doesn't that look good
breakfast. It is going to be good. Isn't it? Everything works different in the cold, though. Only does. It's harder to operate tools and fingers. Depends on where you're at, but there's certain parts of this trail that's really deep and there's certain parts that's not. But look how deep this is. Look. I can't even describe how cool this is because me on 37s, I wouldn't even get even close to this. Now we actually just came back from this way. So we went up this way, come back, we're just playing around in the snow a little bit and having some fun. Good, how are you? Good, this is so fun. Isn't it? I love being camera girl in the snow. Yeah, you know what, I gotta tell you, it is such a big difference. These tracks are unreal. I like it. Gone are my days of stressing with you, uh, snow wheeling. Snow tracking. Yeah. Oh. feeling heading out on the trail with fresh powder blowing off the tracks not a care in the world just us the jeep and wilderness Cause I 
engineer Where are you headed? Carry me back to Tennessee Oh, I got we arrived at our new camp spot on the second day. We did a little bit of exploring, and we did set up, but not without difficulty. Camping is definitely more difficult in the winter elements. I'll shovel coal, Lord, to pay my fare. Gotta get this train down to the station. My little girl. Everything is frozen. So, one reason why I like the Red Rock system, I have 110, 2000 watt inverter. Got my heat gun ready to go, and I'm gonna start melting some of these, uh, oh, I guess, not melting, but thawing out some of these poles so I can put up my awning in this snowstorm here. Worked on a couple of other ones, so. Should work on this one. It'll work. It's getting warm. Good. People are like, why are you bringing a heat gun? Well, when I take off the tracks of the Jeep, also, I melt all the uh, ice and stuff so I can get at the lug nuts. But for anybody that has the Rhino Rack awning, which a lot of people do, they don't work the best in the cold. No, they don't. Gourmet cooking today. Hey, babe. Oh, gourmet at its finest. This is... A just jeeping adventures uh, staple not <laughs> <laughs> okay. so it's cold out it's freezing temperatures and we thought we'd just come up to the tent watch a movie have some popcorn have some popcorn we've got the heat on here it's probably 20 plus degrees inside the tent we're just chilling and it's movie time <laughs> Split the wood, you get the part on. Sounds like a good trade off. I helped with some of the wood. You did. So, what's on your menu tonight? We are making some warm homemade mac and cheese. Something simple. And no, we're not making craft macaroni and cheese. on water so we just improvise for clean dishes. This is the way you do it. Your uh, Mocha Carolyn's coffee is ready. Moklin? Moklin? It's not Mokli, it's Mocha. Mocha coffee. That, Look that's at that. a jungle cruise or jungle book character, Mowgli. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting ready to pack up now. I've got my Moklin, I call it Mowgli, mocha coffee, and it's beautiful out. It's sunny, and we're getting ready to pack up. So I'm going to basically put everything away in the tent and shut her down and have some breakfast and head out.
super weird. That was so much fun. First time out on the tracks was a success for me. It was, you did an awesome job too. I did get a little bit apprehensive because I'm used to being on tires and just thinking if we were going to get stuck and what are we doing out here alone, but these things are so capable. I felt totally safe the whole time out here. this video please give it a like share it and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one